Dear me, I know it's been a while, but I'm grateful to my Father in Heaven for the life experiences that He has blessed me with over the past 10 years. These experiences have helped me become the person that I am today. To be honest, these experiences weren't all sunshine and rainbows. There was a time where I was hit with serious injuries which caused me to hate the one thing I loved, which was playing the game of rugby league. With all of this frustration and hate towards the one thing I loved because of the injuries that I endured. In 2013, I made a decision to leave after rupturing my ACL for the third time. It was at this point, I found myself in a very dark place. For six months straight, I did not leave the house. I sat at home with all the blinds closed, isolating myself from the world. All I could think about during this time was, what am I going to do now? I have a two-year-old boy who is depending on me to be a father that will love, guide, protect, and most importantly, be a role model to him. With all of the negative thoughts that were going through my head about where my life was at the time and where it could possibly end up if I continued to have a negative outlook on life, I decided that I was gonna get up, dust myself off and open the blinds. From that day forward, I promised myself that I was going to do everything I could to play rugby league at a professional level again. I knew that it was going to take a lot of hard work and sacrifice, however, I saw this as an opportunity for me to show my son that things in life aren't given, they're earned. Making sure that he understands and can see that the world meets no one halfway. So if you want something, go get it and don't let anyone tell you that you can't. Little did I know six years later, all the hard work and sacrifice finally paid off. In May 2018, I made my return to professional rugby league when I was signed by Hull Kingston Rovers in the English Super League. Be mindful of the people that you come in contact with. Get to know them before you judge them. It's never weak to speak and remember that sometimes it's not about what you say, it's the way you say things that will determine whether your message resonates with that person or not. Someone once said, Unfortunately, we don't get to choose the cards we're dealt in life. Just remember that it's not about the cards you're dealt, it's the way you play your cards that will determine the outcome of your life. Yours sincerely, Junior Viva.